Hey guys, um, welcome to my channel. I am gonna do a video on my meal prep for the week. Now, I do want to advise you guys, I eat like crap. Not necessarily, but I don't shy away from eating things that taste good. Um, as everyone knows, I'm low carb. I do have some carbs and I'm easing my way into keto and I'm sorry that I'm playing with my hair because it's so cute, but I'm easing my way into keto. So first I'm going to show you some of the things I use to um, prep for the week and then I'll show you the food that I eat for the week. So I got these containers from Walmart. Um, I think I have eight of them. I got eight of them with the tops. They were... I think it came out to $3.99 for eight. Um, these are my Rubbermaid ones, which I use if I am making like dinner food. And I got these from, I want to say Big Lots. And I got five of them for $4.99. I'm also going to use my Nutribullet for some of the food because I'm going to um, blend down or grind down some of the apples that I'm going to use in my breakfast. Um, I still... <laughs> eat protein but it's only if I'm in a hurry and I forget to prep. I'm also going to be using my air fryer for the chicken that I'm going to eat and then I have one other thing that I'm going to be using for um, the food for the week. I'm also going to use my blender for my oatmeal. Um, so everyone knows oatmeal comes in like well oats right? I like to grind them down um, to like a smaller consistency and I mix them in here with a little skim milk and it makes it a lot creamier. I mix it in there and I leave it in the bowls overnight and then in the, well I leave it in the bowls overnight with the apples and then in the morning it's a quick cold breakfast and it's super freaking good. I'm sure you guys are probably just wondering what I eat. Um, like I said, I use my Nutribullet, I use my air fryer, I use my blender, and I forgot the most important thing that I use, you guys. The absolute most important thing that every person who has had bariatric surgery uses. A food scale. I measure all of my food to make sure that it doesn't weigh more than five ounces. Um, right after I got surgery, uh, I had to weigh all my stuff to make sure it didn't weigh more than, um, one to three ounces. That was probably the amount that I could take in. It was one to three ounces. Um, now that I'm almost three months post-op, I'm about coming up on 11 weeks. I can eat about five to six ounces of food at a time. Um, it takes me about 45 minutes or so to finish a meal, my lunch is typically only a half an hour, so I typically split my lunch up throughout the day. And I try to prep things that I can eat really quickly and then kind of move on. Let's get to the food. Now, I'm sorry, but I don't have time to show you guys how I made everything. But I will leave recipes um, in the description, but I'll just tell you what I did. So this right here is a barbecue chicken pizza. Now, the chicken I got from Walmart. It's pre-cooked and shredded. There is Stubbs barbecue sauce on here, and the best part of this is this really thin, low-carb flatbread. Now, it's wheat. It's called Cut the Carb, and I'll show you guys that in just a second. All right, so here is the flatbread. It is Cut the Carb. Um, I got 12 pieces of flatbread for about $14. 80 calories per serving, and a serving is the whole flatbread. <laughs> So um, it has 4 grams of protein, 14 grams of carbs. There's a little iron in here. There's barely any fat. Um, so I can freeze these, which I didn't. I'm just leaving them in my fridge. Um, they're good for 14 days. I've had them for about 11. Correction, I've had them for 10 days. Um, and I'm on my fourth flatbread. I've made two pizzas, which are good. Um, because it's so thin and lightweight... I can eat like four slices of it before I feel full, which is phenomenal. Um, and a, a good thing that comes in handy is sometimes I make them for dinner and my fiance, he really, really likes them. He loves thin crust and the thinner it is, the more he likes it. So he can eat a whole one to himself. So here is my other flatbread pizza. So the pepperoni is turkey pepperoni. There is a fat-free sauce on there. I got a little fat-free cheese and then some more cut the carb. Um, I left one of my pizza pans at work because I took food 
for my agents, so I have to use this round one. Right here, I got some raw chicken. I seasoned it with a little garlic salt and a little pepper. That's about it. I'm going to pop that in the air fryer. Over here, I have a whole wheat tortilla with probably my favorite thing ever, brown sugar and cinnamon cream cheese. Literally spread a little on here, roll it up, and then I cut it into fours, and it's a quick little snack. So over here, I have cottage cheese. Um, I literally probably eat a bite of this every other hour. Then I have the oats pre-blended. And these two, I have spinach. And then here I have broccoli. I eat the broccoli with some fat-free ranch, which I will show you guys. Um, I've never had fat-free salad dressing before. It's the Hidden Valley fat-free dressing. Guys, it's so good. So good. It's probably my favorite thing ever. But I typically just dip those in there and eat a couple of those with my um, lunch or since I get off work at midnight, my dinner. Over here, I got some apples. I'm going to eat one of these right now. So, I got some apples. I put those on top of the oatmeal after I get done blending them. And then I just put them in the fridge overnight. Um, they're good for like two days, so I only make them in two batches. So, I'm going to make these two tonight. And it's going to be breakfast tomorrow. And then breakfast on Wednesday. And then Wednesday night, I'm going to make two more. So, it'll be breakfast on Thursday and breakfast on Friday already preheated the air fryer so i'm gonna turn this up to about 400 open this up it's really hot and the beautiful thing about an air fryer is you don't have to do anything i'm just gonna dump the chicken in here if it'll come off the plate <laughs> so i'm just gonna dump the chicken in here and i'm gonna put it in the air fryer i'm gonna turn this bad boy on 400 for 10 minutes Favorite thing about the air fryer is you can literally cook anything in here. I made sweet potato fries the other day, took two minutes. Made a steak, medium rare, seven minutes. So here is the end result. I got my Monday, which is these two. Well, technically my Tuesday since I work Tuesday through Saturday. So here's my Tuesday, here's my Wednesday, here's my Thursday, here's my Friday. These are snacks in between. Um, like I said, that's the oatmeal, which has the apples in it now. Then I got my broccoli. Then I got my spinach. And my probably the best tasting thing ever, cottage cheese. So that's it for me, guys. Um, thank you for watching um, my video of my meal prep for the week. Um, I'll probably do a day in the life so you guys can see what I eat when I'm out on days I don't meal prep. Um, I only meal prep for Tuesdays through Fridays, and then Saturday and Sunday I kind of wing it. So like tonight I had seafood. It was the best. Um, yesterday, babe, what did we eat for dinner yesterday? I don't remember what I ate yesterday. We went to a taco shop, and I got lettuce tacos. Oh my God. So they put the meat all inside of a lettuce wrap, and I was able to eat one. But that's it for me. Thank you for watching as always. You guys have a wonderful night.